Happy Friday, my sun rays. How are you? It's your girl, Twan, and welcome back to Trace of Twan's Life. And welcome to Trace of Twan's Life. If you're new here, I am Twan, and I have been on GLP, weight loss injections now, for a year and five months. And I started on Wegovy, and for the past couple of days, I have been using Saxenda. With that being said, my provider has submitted information to the insurance company to try to get my ZEP bound on the tier two exception so that my cost will go down from $606 a month to $60 a month. So I looked online today after I received the message from my provider stating that she had sent information over to the insurance company and they should have a response for me today with the approval, I went on my break here at work and I looked to see if something was going on online that I can actually visual see without making a call. And I did, got kind of happy and excited. And I am going to play that for you right now. I am calling about the Zepbound Terzepatide. My provider put in a, a tier one exception and I looked online and it says um, completed PA change and therapy request approved. So are they saying now that I can get the ZEP bound at the tier two price? Like the pharmacy practice the claim today was still the medication. Let me see. Already? That was fast. I haven't even talked to the doctor yet. She hasn't told me it was um, approved or not. I just happened to look online while I was on my break here at work and I saw that the request was submitted on yesterday and it says it was approved today. It says prior authorization is approved, completed, PA change and therapy request approved. For zip bound to a zip I just shot at the pharmacy building. What? Yeah, so. Oh, <laughs> It's coming yes! back as the same. It's approved, but it's still coming back as the same copay. So it still seems $606. So oh, no. Yeah, because. Yeah, so it shows that the prior authorization is approved, but they didn't do a tier exception. So the tier exception has to be done, but the prior authorization was approved today. But after that, then the when you have to have your doctor submit a tier exception form. If you would like, I can give you the number to the prior authorization department um, to get that started. She had uh, already done. She had already now. did that. So she has uh, to do well, it. They haven't sent it over to us. Well, no, they denied it. They denied, they denied it. it because the prior authorization wasn't done. But now that the authorization is approved, then they would have to then do another tier exception form request. Oh, so she has to do it again. Oh, the because the authorization has to be set in stone first before they can even look at a tier exception. Oh, okay, I got you. I understand. So I give her a call and let her know. Yeah. You know, this is crazy because no yeah. they did a they did a prior authorization back in let's see in May they did a prior authorization for the Zeltbound. And then they denied the tier exception in June. So now it's prior authorization. So now she has to do another. Yeah, this is because they can only accept the tier exception form when the prior authorization is approved. So whatever they did, that it looks like. Give me one moment. She did one for Wagovi, then she did one for Zed Bound, then she did. Okay, so then when she did initially do the tier exception for the Zet Bound, um, it looks like they denied it because your doctor didn't say that you tried with Obi or the other ones and failed those, so that's why. So now it's like you're starting from square one. So the doctor did do the prioritization the correct way, so now that tier exception can be presented. Yeah, because I was already on Wegovy. Maybe that's why she didn't put that in there. So now I've tried Wegovy and Sex Center. So, okay, let me contact her and let her know that she has to do a whole nother 
form again. This is crazy. Okay. Okay, thank you. That's it. Thank you. Okay, I just sent my provider another message. Y'all heard all that. I got so excited and my hope just crashed. Just like that. So the first tier exception form that was done is really not any good anymore. So they approve the Zeltbound again. So now that it's approved again, now my provider has to send another form requesting the tier exception and she has to let them know that we go v and sex senda um was tried i give up what a way to end my friday this is too much y'all too much too much so maybe if she get my message by today uh, maybe she'll submit the form probably Monday and then maybe Tuesday we should have an answer, which would be good because if we get an answer on Tuesday, then I should be able to pick up from the pharmacy on Wednesday. She said they already submitted it to the pharmacy, so it's already there. She see it in the, in the system, so I'm going to go ahead and check too while I'm still in the portal, but this is crazy, right? I'll be back tomorrow, you guys. I'm going to add to this video. I'm going to show you all the sex and the injection. Something new that I noticed um, as I give the uh, injection. And then I kind of talk to you a little bit more, too, um, about how I'm feeling um, after getting those injections. I'll be back. Oh, I did kind of hang up kind of fast on that lady, didn't I? <sighs> Listen, this is mind-boggling. This process is so confusing. I am now looking here on my prescriptions that have been approved. And it's showing that my pharmacy field the zelt bound at 12.5 12.5 milligrams on 7 26 2004 today yeah it's, it's been filled zelt bound 12.5 is that the highest dosage let's see No, I think 15 is the highest. Okay, so she's starting me at the 12.5 and I'll work my way to the highest one. Okay, that's not bad at all. But listen, this is crazy. You see this game that insurance company play? Why can they just use the very first authorization and instead of her having to submit another authorization and then submit another tier exception? This is crazy. I don't I don't understand what these people are doing. It's like they take you all around the world across the country and back before they can finally do what you need them to do. This is crazy. Um yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um end this video and I guess I'll check again and see if my provider is going to respond back to all the messages that I sent through our online portal. If not, she probably will just do it on Monday in a way that will be kind of good because they approve within like 10 minutes, she say. So if they get an answer back, if they get an answer back to her on Monday or Tuesday, I can go pick up from the pharmacy on Tuesday and that'll be perfectly fine. Then I can start the zip bound on Wednesday, which is Wednesday is my normal day that I do my weekly injections anyway when I was on Wegovy. So we'll see how that go. Um, 
I will come back and do another video tomorrow because I want to show you all um, my process of giving myself the sex and the that way I can kind of explain to you all um, something new that I noticed that I didn't show you all the first time that I um, shared with you all my very first injection. And then I want to explain to you a little bit some of the side effects that um, I feel that I've been experiencing. I'm going to end this video because I am um, still at work. I'm actually sitting at my desk, taking a quick little break. So I will get back with you all later. Happy Friday! Enjoy your day. God bless.